Sometimes it's really annoying when you want to visit an important website to do an important work, but your network's firewall doesn't allow access to it. This happens generally when you're connected to your school or college Wi-Fi network. Because school or college Wi-Fi networks basically have a firewall installed to them which blocks access to different websites. These web filters block most of the websites even though they're not inappropriate and even though they have some useful content in it. So it's really annoying when you're in an emergency to visit an important website but your network's firewall is not allowing access to it. In this video, I'm going to share you a little trick to access blocked websites on your college or school Wi-Fi network. My name is Teja and you're watching TechRosh channel. Let's get started. So for example, let me go to this website, cat.am and let's see if my web filter is providing me access to this website or not. As you can see, this website is blocked and this is actually a kick-ass torrents domain. And also please note that my intention is not to promote pirated torrents. I'm just taking this website as an example. So please note that. So as you can see, this website is blocked over here. Now let's see how to gain access to this website. Now what you need to do is open your new tab and go into the website wrap.it. Once you're onto this website, just go ahead and click on the sign up button which is present at the top right corner of the screen right here. Over here, just fill up all your details. Once you have done filling up all these fields, just go ahead and click on the sign up button. Once you're signed up, it'll prompt you a message like this which says success, you're signed up. Simply close this pop up. Now click on the drop down arrow symbol present at the top right corner of the screen and click on my room. Now in this screen you'll find a search icon at the left top corner of the screen. Just put your cursor on it and then type the domain which you want to visit there. And hit enter. Now select the website from the search results. You can switch to the full screen by clicking on the more options and then click on enter full screen. This is going to take you to the full screen. Now here is a website and as you can see it is unblocked and you are having access to it. This is how you can access websites which are blocked on your college or school Wi-Fi network. Now there is one limitation with this. You cannot actually directly download files to your computer from this website. What you can do is download the file and then upload the file once again into Dropbox or OneDrive which is synced with your original computer. In that way, you can get files from websites which are blocked on your college or school Wi-Fi network. One great advantage of Rabbit is that you can browse web really fast. As you can see, the download speed is around 20 Mbps and the upload speed is, uh, I don't think it's given here, but anyway, the browsing speed is pretty fast so you can browse web really fast. So this is how you can bypass or not bypass actually, this is how you can actually access the websites which are not given access through your college Wi-Fi network. So thanks for watching the video, if you like this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up below and if you have any doubts regarding this video feel free to comment down in the comment section below. Also visit my blog for written tutorial at blog.techraj156.com, the link to my blog will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button for more videos. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash techraj156. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash techraj156. Visit my website at techraj156.com. Thanks for watching. Cheers. If you are watching this on your mobile, click on the bell symbol and you will be notified every time I upload a new video.